Hello everyone, this is Amritpal Singh. Welcome to my next video of Apache Spark. Guys, in this video, I'll be talking about Spark Streaming. We all know that Spark Streaming is one of the important component of Apache Spark ecosystem. And I'm already uh, as I'm already showing the uh, like glimpse of it. You can see like uh, in this picture, it has shown uh, that we have got three major components. We have input sources, we have a streaming engine in the middle, and then we have a sync. And we can relate this uh, this uh, architecture or this these components with flumes as well. Like in the flume, we also talk about source, channel, sync. Here we are having input sources. We have a instead of channel, we have a streaming engine. Then we have a uh, this sync available. All right. So uh, what is uh, Spark streaming data, right, guys? I can relate this Spark streaming data as an unbounded. Uh, table where the data will always be appended at the end of the table you can see like we have now compared this this data stream or spark streaming data with this unbounded table unbounded means which has got no limits all right so new data in the data stream will be equal to new rows appended to the unbounded table so it has got no limits you can see the table has been shown in the form of rows and columns and new data is coming it's appended to the bottom of the table right so it is continuous uh, flow of data which is coming in from a particular source so guys in this uh, demonstration i'll be showing you how we can uh, work with uh, this spark streaming all right so let's get our hands dirty with our first spark streaming app example right i'll be using uh, the input source as rate source and i'll be using sync as console sync all right so what is rate source guys the rate source will be auto generating the data and which we will then print on the console so this is our objective of this demonstration so i've already have opened up my spark shell so let's start guys first of all we have to uh, incorporate the important packages let's do it import org dot apache dot spark dot sql dot spark session spark session all right this is we are done now we have to import one more package import org dot apache dot spark dot sql dot functions all right dot underscore okay we got my both the packages uh, incorporated so let's create the spark session guys let's do it vl spark equal to spark session spark session dot builder all right dot master in this case uh, my master will be my local host so i'm keeping it as local all right app name we can supply any name i'm giving it as my source something anything okay you can give any name here guys dot get or create get or create all right done so we got our spark session created you can see then guys now we have to create the streaming data frame okay let's create our first spark streaming data frame using our rate source so let's do it then i'll be discussing what i am doing first of all let me write a command for this i have got a data frame with the name init df all right equal to equal to spark dot read stream all right dot format format will be rate as i've already told you i'll be using rate source option i'm using rows per second r o w s rows per second all right and i'm giving it as one dot load done guys all right we got some issue here let me find out sorry it's load not local 
all right so guys guys what i have done uh, in this case we have specified the format as rate and uh, and specified rows per second equal to 1 actually we are doing it to generate one row for each micro batch we all know that in the case of apache spark we have a concept of micro batching so we are um, specifying rows per second equal to 1 to generate one row for each micro batch and load the data into the init df streaming data frame all right this is what we have done in this step all right so guys we can now verify whether this init df is a streaming data frame or not so we can check out by printing print ln so let's see whether it is uh, whether my init df is a streaming data frame or not so i can just type some message on the console to check out whether it is my streaming data frame all right init df dot is streaming all right so guys i'm getting the answer true it means it is my streaming data frame so everything is uh, all right till now let's moving further guys now i'll be performing a basic transformation all right so data frame is ready let's pr uh, apply some basic transformation so uh, what i'll be doing i'll be performing a basic transformation to generate another column by adding one to the column all right let's do it value val equal to result df it's my another data frame which i'll be created creating by putting one transformation init df dot with column all right the column name will be result okay call value all right plus i'm appending one so what i have done i have just performed a basic transformation to generate another column result okay by adding one to the column value all right let's see yeah we got another field available guys earlier we were having two fields timestamp and value now i have got timestamp value and one more field the timestamp is of type timestamp values of type big integer and i got one more field available here guys we have created a derived column result from an existing column value all right in a same way as we are working in the batch data frame all right so last step is pending now we have to send the output to the console all right so let's try to print the con uh, contents of this streaming data frame to console Ga guys here in this case i'll be using append output mode uh, to only output those rows which are newly generated okay and i'll be using format as a console to print the result on the console let me first do it and then i'll be discussing what i have done dot write stream write stream dot output mode guys we are having three output modes in streaming i'm using append here append mode dot option i'm using option truncate here okay false dot format console to print the data on the console okay and we all know that uh, if we when we work with spark streaming we can open up the streaming with start and we can also write await termination it will wait for the termination okay when it will be ending await termination all right all done guys let me again explain what i have done here we are printing the contents of the streaming uh, data frame to the console we have used the append output mode to the output only the newly generated data uh, and we are using format as a console to print the result on the console on the screen all right so guys let's see what happens when i press enter you will see something will be coming in front of you it will be generating the data and it will be incrementing y1 let's see so here we go you can see guys i'm getting this uh, data generated it is coming like you see enough first batch guys here we printed the result of two micro batches here 
uh, we are having uh, columns available timestamp value result right you can see it's going on forever just see it's going on forever so this is the uh, example of spark streaming guys and you can see that we are only getting newly generated data you can see it is not uh, giving me the older results it's giving me the newly generated data it is because of the output mode as append all right so guys this marks the end of this video it will be running forever so this is what the streaming is all right uh, so i'll see you next video guys thank you